So with the Battle of Reach behind us and the Battle of Installation 04 wrapping up, the next major event within the Human Covenant War is the Battle of Earth. And as of now, the players are getting into place for what is one of the most significant engagements of the war, the defense of the human homeworld. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. So we're all very familiar with the Battle of Earth. It's a key point in Halo 2. It sort of marks the wider explanation of the Human Covenant War, and it was the first on-screen demonstration of the fall of a human world, made all that more poignant by the fact that it was Earth, humanity's homeworld. So let's talk about the build-up to the Battle of Earth, because that starts next week on October 20th. Long story short, the Battle of Earth represents the defense of Earth against a Covenant scouting force that was not intended to take a human-held world. In fact, the Covenant force that arrived on Earth on October 20th, 2552, was not a massive invasion fleet designed to steamroll a human settlement, but instead a small scouting force designed to search for Forerunner artifacts, having no idea that Earth was actually the homeworld of humanity. But the buildup for the defense of Earth actually began years ago, in 2250, with the war now trending firmly against humanity's favor. The decision was made for several museum ships around Earth to be reactivated and turned into either large-scale defense platforms, or in some cases, functional naval vessels intended to defend Earth in the event of an attack. Now, for a long time, this was the only precaution being taken, but as time rolled on and more and more human colonies fell, it became more and more apparent that Earth was going to fall in the crosshairs, and in May of 2552, they began reorganizing the defensive structures around Earth to prepare for a Covenant attack. In between May 14th and May 19th, 2552, the UNSC fleets that had sort of congealed near Earth, were reorganized into the home fleet under the command of Admiral Harper, who was in charge of seeing that this naval force effectively defended the Sol system and its inhabitants against a now considered to be imminent Covenant strike. During this time, a lot of the infrastructure we see come into play during the Battle of Earth was placed into its intended position. Several of the orbital defense platforms were repositioned or redesignated, with the platform Cairo being sort of designated as the flagship of this defensive formation. It would be from there that the defense of Earth could be commanded. All this was done with an order from the UEG, the United Earth Government, the political entity that had control over human space at this time, and with a directive from UNSC High Command, which commanded all UNSC forces. On the Covenant side, things were going a little bit differently. The Prophet of Truth had discovered the location of Earth and that it was a significant human world. He may have even known that Earth was humanity's homeworld. As such, he was assembling a strike force to attempt to assault this human stronghold. However, shortly before this assault could be carried out, a UNSC operation known as Operation First Strike was carried out, which ultimately disabled the Covenant strike force. With the Prophet of Truth's forces destroyed, he quickly was surprised to find out that the Prophet of Regret had also been planning an expedition to this particular world, but under a very different sort of intention. The Prophet of Regret believed the planet in question, which ended up being Earth, to be an uninhabited world that harbored a significant Forerunner artifact, and as such he had assembled a small fleet, basically as his personal escort, to go unearth this artifact and use it to the Covenant's advantage. This artifact in question, by the way, was the portal to the Ark. As such, he assembled a relatively small fleet, a pair of carriers escorted by 13 battlecruisers, to venture off to this unknown world and attempt to locate this Forerunner artifact. He was however surprised to find such a large human presence there, as the Prophet of Truth had not actually informed him that they believed this world to be the human homeworld. So by this point, just a few days before October 20th, the Covenant fleet is now en route to the human homeworld, unbeknownst to both the Covenant and humanity, and this major engagement is right around the corner. Meanwhile, the Prophet of Truth, having just realized that the Prophet of Regret is marching into the human stronghold, has begun preparing a force to reinforce the Prophet of Regret, this force consisting of a large fleet of brute-controlled warships which will be sent in the wake of the Prophet of Regret's strike fleet. Now, a big portion of the preparations for the Battle of Earth is the organization of the UNSC Home Fleet, and if you'd like to learn more about the UNSC Home Fleet, I'll leave a link up here to my video on that. And I'd like you to let me know down in the comments how you would defend Earth if you were in charge of the UNSC defenses over the planet. Would you rely more on orbital defense platforms? Would you try to recall every ship you could to build a massive defensive fleet? Uh, 
what would you suggest doing in this situation? Mind you, you don't know that a Covenant Assault is inbound yet, but you know that one is likely. And if you have anything else you'd like to see me cover in Halo, Star Wars, or anywhere else in science fiction, you can also put that down below in the comments. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time. Thank you.